All right, this is Pops, and yes, The Hustle, an extraordinary, extraordinary film that is just god-awful. Dear Lord, let's talk about what you people put me through. Hustle, yes, part of that MGM rollout package that they did, that 100 movies for $100, yes, and I put up among these terrible films that I don't want to watch, you voted, and you guys hustled me, because after I decided on the hustle, and you probably, probably heard me say it, I think you guys went out there with your six Google accounts, and you upvoted Uptown Girl, which is now the one that wins, which isn't fair, because I already watched the hustle, we'll see. Rebel Wilson, Anne Hathaway, a girly, woke, gender-swapped remake of what? Dirty Rotten Scoundrels meets Bedtime Story. Just that that she's a lady music playing with the femme fatale nonsense, and you're supposed to believe, and it's just unbearable in nearly every turn. I was thinking about Rebel Wilson's character and why it doesn't work. So she's a con artist. She's basically a low-dollar con artist. Um, she's gone through this major scam, kind of got chased by police, and then she's on this train. She's going to try to hit more of like the ritzy areas and that kind of thing. And she just, it, it's sort of like Zach Galifianakis in Hangover. And it's like the Will Ferrell movies. It's like physical stuff by Jack Black. It's the fat, jokes and the unsexy elements but it's with like the fat woman and we're supposed to like not laugh but laugh but we're not fat shaming we're obesity shaming but we're supposed to do it because that's the gag and it's like it's just terrible <laughs> and the fact that she's also just this unlikable person and you go all right well for the film she's going to become an a, a likable person right so that's going to be kind of the journey that we're on so I'm totally not sure like what the gags are supposed to do for us because they're all just like this. They're just cheesy, cheeky, silly things where things just sort of happen and you're supposed to kind of go along with it. And Hathaway's like, quote, training her up, taking her under her wing, but not really. She's taking advantage of her the whole time it's to the point where she's like the ugly sister in the uber wealthy scam, like these ridiculous, ridiculous situations. Um, they kind of just keep playing it up. This is her training, her running behind in these ridiculous outfits and things like that. It's just God awful and just irritating. It culminates with them finding their mark, this young kid who's supposed to be like a Zuckerberg type thing. And they just kind of one up themselves about who's going to hook him. Who's going to catfish this guy. She pretends to be blind very, very badly. And Hathaway meets him at first and then radically changes into like this German accent. It's all supposed to be fine. And she's a doctor that can cure blindness because it's not really blindness. And it's just, oh my gosh, this movie is so unbearable. There's a twerking scene <laughs> with her Rebel Wilson twerking. I couldn't handle any of this. Anne Hathaway is equally as terrible. I mean, there's so many different accents that she's bad at in this movie. That I guess supposed to be like a German doctor accent. It's just un it like it's like nails on a chalkboard for me. Like I can't tell you how many times I paused and just sat there rubbing my head, like, dear Lord, make it over. The worst part was like the female element of this. Like this is the early part of the movie with her running her scam on this guy to steal this five hundred thousand dollar necklace. And it's like, it's is it worth anything? Yeah. It's that just like because it's shiny and it's like this dumb girl game because men think girls are dumb and they're vulnerable and that's why they can be duped like it's such a it's such a it works for like these movies that i mentioned then and with the male con artists and things like that so the fact that the women are cards like reality is men can be duped because she's hot men can be duped because she implies that she might sleep with them. That's kind of the game that Rebel Wilson's playing too, because she's using this photo of like this hot picture, like it's her sister and she's duping the men. So 
it's such a it's such a ridiculous phony game that they're trying to play with the audience of what they're actually doing it just it never ever worked i mean did we ever need to see this did we ever ever need to see stuff like that she's just terrible it's just unbearably bad it's just terrible oh dear lord so the angle of the movie that i thought they were going to go for was Red wilson ends up in this mess because of that guy on the airplane and finds out about Anne Hathaway's character. And then there's this big con going on with this guy, right? Well, I thought the big scam was he's actually connected to her to scam Anne Hathaway's character. And that's what was going to be the big twist. Instead, he is scamming both of them because it's easy to scam con artists. So it's like, okay, so the whole point of the movie is that you women are clever and men are dumb and you can use sex and sex appeal and whatever. And yet, the man dupes you and then you end up working for him at the end of the movie. That's your story arc. When in fact I thought, well, it was rebel Wilson's coming up with this scheme to dupe and Hathaway. Like she's not as smart as she thinks she is kind of thing. That the fact that they didn't even go for that and give rebel Wilson's character, like an actual arc or anything like, <laughs> Oh my gosh, this movie. Oh, and they played it up. It's like a mother's day thing. There's a mother's day trailer. There's all this other footage that just shows just, I don't know. I couldn't believe it. I I mean, I can believe it. I can believe it. I don't want to believe it. It is, um, I don't really know. I like the opening credits because they use like that sort of like Pink Panther type animation with credits. I like that. There are one or two gags or jokes, if you will, that kind of make you sort of like chuckle or smirk, right? It's like a couple of those kinds of things. But isn't it? the same as like fat people memes like it's just fat people falling down or hurting themselves or whatever or it's something like that it's not worthy of like a, i mean the idea that they got this through because of this era of you know neo-feminism woke films let's just do this kind of stuff this is what everybody wants thing it's really sad, but it also should be a film that we should bring up as an example of how bad things are. Because if you think Ghostbusters 2016 is bad, The Hustle is like at least three to four times way worse than this. Like Chris Hemsworth at least is acting in the Ghostbusters movies. And yes, it's an abomination. And I don't even know why they call it Ghostbusters. But The Hustle is so much worse. Like what is the redeeming element of the movie? Like there's no the characters all come out just as bad, if not worse, but now they look, they work for a dude because they got duped by a dude. That's literally the story. It's terrible. Lord. All right. I watched it. And yes, at some point I'll watch Uptown Girl, but not right away. I need a minute to clean the palate. So I'll watch some of the good movies that are in there first. Bear with me. Thanks for watching everybody. I am Pops. <laughs>